Did you know many of the top automotive companies suggest using a fuel additive in their vehicle? Now, why is this? Well, first off, let me show you the proof that your vehicle is probably included. Yes, this is the Hyundai Elantra GT. As you can see, it says to add a fuel additive. Now they would like for you to do this as much as changing the motor oil, or if not, use a top tier detergent gasoline. As you can see, we'll move the page, next page again, along with the regular maintenance. They want you to continue to do it again and again and again first off you're probably thinking i don't even own a hyundai well i can assure you it's not only hyundai but audi ford navistar bmw hyundai vw gm toyota detroit diesel fca mercedes benz now you guys are probably even wondering you saw the gdi engine and you're thinking well, how's this gonna help a gasoline direct injection engine? As you can see, I'm taking this, pouring it straight into the fuel tank. I always follow the manufacturer's recommendations before proceeding with anything. Here we have the Lucas injector cleaner. Now obviously you can build up deposits within the combustion chamber, which is one of the main concerns, or on the intake valves themselves, and also the injectors. These things can actually happen to vehicles that are not direct injection. And how can you find out? Well, a borescope camera is one good way, but you'll need to find a possible port on the intake. Check with the manufacturer for this but periodic maintenance can help you avoid a lot of problems. As I'm sure you're aware, the fuel additive may help the fuel injector because it's dealing with some very harsh conditions inside the combustion chamber. Unlike the port fuel injection where it's along the intake track inside the combustion chamber, yeah, it's a lot more harsh conditions and there's obviously going to be more deposits that build up on it. So using a good cleaner will help, but it won't fix the intake valves. They say the gasoline can actually reduce those deposits though on the valves. But a lot of people say that it's just about sponsorship and it's about money, no more than that and it's not even necessary, but you'll have to decide that for yourself. So according to these car manufacturers, if you would like for your vehicle to last an extended amount of time or mileage, well, you're going to have to perform the necessary maintenance. So I removed the cover so you could see the engine better. And as you can see, there is a oil catch can. But yet, still, the intake valves need cleaned. They won't catch all the problem. It'll only help substantially depending on the catch can you have. So the fact remains, do top tier fuels actually make a difference or is it just a money racket? And can you actually go find your own fueling stations? Well, you can try doing your own research, but you're gonna find out really quick. If they do name additives that are in their fuels, they do not want to give you the amounts because that puts them in even more competition with the competing fuel stations which can be very tough. Now, we however have a list that you can reach out for and you know, take that information with 
for what you will. Okay, and the top tier gas.com licensed brands, as I said, it, they would suggest that they are a licensed brand. It would have it in a prominent logo as seen. Is has the licensed retail brands. It has the corresponding countries in which they are located. For example, 76, Arco, Exxon, uh, Aloha, Beacon, Breakaway, countries such as USA, uh, Canada, Argentina, Colombia, Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Panama, Puerto Rico, uh, Costco Wholesale, Costco Wholesale for many different countries, uh, Country Mark for the USA, Country Mark Plus USA, Diamond Shamrock USA, Eco Max Puerto Rico, Energy Mexico, Express Mart US, same Wisconsin as well, uh, Exxon USA. Fast Fuel USA, Get Go USA, Puerto Rico, HFN, Hawaii, Network Fueling Station, Harmon's Fuel Stop, uh, Holiday, Kirkland Signature Gasoline in the USA and in Mexico, Quick Star USA, Quick Trip USA, Marathon USA, Major Express USA, Metro Petro USA, Mobile USA, Puma, Guatemala, El Salvador, Phillips 76 USA, Quick Trip USA, Ranger USA, R Ranger Fuel USA. The question remains, does that mean that all Phillips 76s do contain this? Because as I've seen many times, it even has a corresponding state beside USA. So maybe that is if it's only that location specific. Not really sure. Uh, simply gas. I mean, the list goes on and on. Texco, mini Texco across Canada, USA, Honduras, Ultra Top Fuel, Valero, Value America, Wow, Win Win. And guys, there's many others that I just skipped right over. You check that out for yourself. As I said, toptiergas.com. Quick trip. Um, that's also in the USA. Yeah, make that of what you will, guys. And make sure to check your vehicle out, do your due diligence, and that may answer the question for you, what you really need, in fact. Like I said, with the borescope camera, or next time you're doing a little work, and if you're unable to go through a port, you're taking your spark plugs out, uh, maybe you can take a look at the tip of your injector uh, through other means, or hey, hook it up to a computer. You can see if the fuel surging, um, the pressure, things of that nature, you can check in your owner's manual. It actually talks about that. So see for yourself, guys, for your particular make and model. As always, I want to thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.